Hey students, welcome back to Diksha Vedanta English channel. This is Suhas, your mathematics master teacher. Students, in this particular video, I explain all important formulas for your board exam for March 2024. Hey students, we already know. If you know the formula, yes sir. If you know the formula, we can easily answer any question. To find HCF LCM, let's start with real numbers. Okay, real numbers. Let's start with real numbers, student. HCF LCM. HCF for two number. This is one important. HCF into LCM is equal to A into B. This is only one is there. Next move on to the algebra. In algebra, let's start with polynomials. Right? Polynomials. Zero. F of x is equal to zero. That is very important. Concentrate that one. Very easy. Polynomial is very easy. F of x is equal to zero and quadratic uh, factorization method. Focus on factorization method. We already know if we we have like this a x square plus b x plus c, then split the mid term a x square plus p x plus sorry p x plus q q x plus c that is equal to zero. P q must and should be equal to a c and p plus q that is equal to b. These two very important polynomial is done. Next move on to the which one? Uh, polynomial is done. Uh, second one pair of linear equation in two variables two variables we have nature of solution very very important for inconsistency is nothing but for unique solution a1 by b a1 by a2 is never equal to b1 by b2 for unique okay yeah unique for infinitely many solution all are equal a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 that is equal to c1 by c2 then then for parallel a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. Okay, yeah, polynomials then. Then move on to the QE, quadratic equation. In quadratic equation, factorization method is already done. The x value, quadratic formula. This is very, very important. Correct. Ah? Then d, d is equal to b square minus 4ac. Depends upon d value. If d is less than 0 then ro roots no real roots then similarly d is greater than 0 then roots are real and different then d is equal to 0 equal roots two roots are obtained in this case a quadratic equation then then ap arithmetic progression in arithmetic progression this one a1 is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d if we know this formula and also in uh, reverse, a n is equal to l plus n uh, l minus l minus n minus 1 into d. Okay, yeah, these two are very important. Focus on this. Then uh, q e is done, a p is done. Next, move on to the trigonometry. In trigonometry, very important sin theta, sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, opposite by hypotenuse adjacent by hypotenuse then here opposite by adjacent if you know this you can easily tell the other three other three one cosecant is nothing but one by sine for secant is nothing but one by cos then tan is nothing but one by cot very simple relation relation we already know this is a relation then sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one then all six trigonometric ratios, trig 0 standard uh, standard angles 45, 60, 90 by using this trick 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 trick. Okay, yeah, do this. Trigonometry done. Trigonometry done. Everything is done. Next move on to the triangles. Triangles BPT. If ABC, DE is parallel to BC, then first one BPT AD by DB is equal to AE by EC, then reverse form, right, ah, DB by AD, AC by AE, then add 1, then it become AE by AC, that's equal to, that's equal to AB by, a, AB by, no, AD by AB, this one, these three are very important. Next, move on to the circle, in a, in circle, Perimeter, perimeter, how to find perimeter? Perimeter of circle is equal to 2 pi r. Perimeter of semicircle is equal to pi r plus 2 r. Then area of circle is equal to pi r square. 
area of semicircle is equal to pi r square by 2, semicircle is divided by 2, area of circular ring is pi r square minus r square, we are already familiar. Then area of circle pi r square, area of sector theta by 360 by pi r square, area of major sector is equal to circle minus sector. Okay, yeah. Then this is called major arc minor arc. How to find out the circumference of the circle 2 pi r? Then length of an arc is equal to theta into 3 by 60 and 2 pi r. Okay, yeah. If you want, I post this PPT in the link or in telegram channel. Please uh, download that. Next, surface area. What is uh, in the case of cuboid? CSA. CSA or LSA, lateral surface area is given by 2h into L plus b. Then total surface area, this one, volume LBH, total surface area, 2 into LB plus BH plus LH. C cube, cube for 4a square, TSA, 6a square, volume A cube, okay, yeah. Then in the case of cylinder, CSA is given by 2 pi RH, TSA is given by 2 pi R into R plus H, volume is equal to pi R square H. Then cone, cone, CSA is equal to pi R L, TSA is equal to pi R into R plus L, volume is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. Surface area formula, 4 pi r square for sphere, volume is given by 4 by 3 pi r cube. In the case of hemisphere, 2 pi r square, total surface area 3 pi r square, volume 2 by 3 pi r cube. It is covered. If you want to find the, find the combination, TSA is equal to CSA, both CSA, you need to find out like this volume, volume is equal to volume of cone and everything, volume, you need to add the volume. This is done. Next, next, statics. In statics, how to find a mean? Mean is found by using this formula. Summation of xi by n, then also by discrete frequency distribution or direct method. This is n. Summation of fi xi n. Very simple. First you need to, first you need to find out the fi, then make n column xi fi, then add the o, add those values and do that. Then assumed mean method. Assumed mean method is nothing but we need to assume some mean. Then by using this, you need to solve that. Di is equal to, di, di is equal to xi by no, uh, yes, xi, xi minus a. a is always choose midterm students. Okay, yeah, step deviation method is not there. Don't concentrate then. Okay, yeah, next, median. Median is completely depending upon two observation. When the number of observation, n, n value, this not in capital n, if odd, then it's become like this, n plus 1 by third uh, second median. Then if its observation is even, then it's become. Median is, uh, median is found by this, uh, this formula, L plus n minus l 2 into cf class uh, right communicative frequency communicative frequency divided by f into h h is thing but bandwidth next mode of group of data is given by this formula mode is equal to l plus f1 minus f0 first uh, z first to z first frequency second frequency to f1 h that meant l value very simple okay now next relation between mean mode and median mode is always equal to 3 median okay i write like uh, okay yes here there Mode. Mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean. Similarly, in the case of median, mode plus 2 by 3 mean minus mode. Empirical formula students, mean is equal to mode plus 2 by 3 median minus mode. Same. If you know one formula, by using this, you can easily find out. These are the important formulas and also probability formula. Probability is given by, probability of an event is given by number of possible outcomes. Okay, I'm sorry, number of favorable outcomes to the number of possible outcomes. It's done. If you have any doubt, let us know in comment section and please do not forget to like, share, subscribe the channel for more updates and also all the best.